In this video, I will walk you through on how to use the HD Insight tools on Azure Toolkit for IntelliJ to debug Spark applications remotely on an HD Insight cluster. Let me first create a Spark Scala application. Click Create New Project in the Welcome Start window. Choose HD Insight. Select the project template. For the demo purpose, I am choosing Spark on HD Insight Cluster Run Sample Scala template. Enter project name and other fields. For Spark version field, let's make sure the project Spark version selected here matches the Spark version of the cluster, which will be used for remote debugging. Click Finish to create the Scala project. Then click SRC to main to Scala folder to open my code. Now I'm going to set up the remote debugging configurations. Click Edit Configurations menu on the top right to edit the configurations for remote debugging. Click the plus sign in the Run Debug Configurations window. Choose Submit Spark Job option. Enter name, choose Spark Cluster. Select the main class. Click Advanced Configuration. In the Spark Submission Advanced Configuration dialog box, enable Spark Remote Debugging for SSH authentication. Enter SSH username, password, or use private key file. The configuration is now saved with the name you provided. You can click the configuration name to view the configuration details or click edit configurations to make changes. After completing the configuration settings, I can either run the project directly against a remote cluster by click the run icon or click the debug icon to perform remote debugging. In the first scenario, I will show you how to run a Spark application on a remote Spark cluster, which I have just configured. Click the Run icon to start the running process. The HD Insight Spark submission window displays the application execution status. You can monitor the progress of the Scala job based on the information here. Now I will show you the remote debugging process. First, let me set a breaking point. Click Debugging icon. The debug window displays the debugging status. Code stops at the breaking point. I can now view parameter and variable information in the variable window. Click Step Over to proceed to the next line of code. I can further step through the code. Click Run to resume the program. I can review the execution status in the HD Insight Spark submission window. My third scenario is to do remote debugging as well as fixing bugs at the same time. In the code here, because the target file already exists, I would anticipate an exception to be thrown. Set up breaking points. Click Debug icon to start remote debug. The debug window displays connected to the target VM. Again, it stops at the breaking point. The parameter and variable information are shown in the variable window. Click Run icon to resume program. The exception is being caught as expected. Continue Run. The HD Insight Spark submission window displays a job run failed error. Let me try debugging again and show you how to dynamically update the variable value using IntelliJ debugging capability. Click Debug icon again and start remote debug. The variable window shows up again. Click Target Set Value then enter a new value of the variable. Continue run. 
you can see the project is executed successfully without any exceptions. Based on the debugging information, I can also make changes in the code directly and submit a normal run to execute the program. The program execution status and logs are displayed in the HD Insight Spark submission window. I can click links here to view more details about the job information and job log information. Thank you for watching. Please start to use our new remote debugging feature to easily debug applications remotely on the HD Insight Spark cluster. You can find the overview of Apache Spark on Azure HD Insight, HD Insight tool for IntelliJ documentation, and remote debugging instructions from the links on the screen. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us.